Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be giving a quick run through on the new image support features in TS GUI 0.9.7.1 and above. Um, and straight away you can see an example config here on the screen uh, with a few images and a couple of the or in the locations that are available to you. So there's a couple of new areas inside of the GUI. We've got the left pane and the right pane area here. Now these are basically just for images um, and they exist actually outside of the page area inside of your GUI window. We've also got um, a location up in the top right here is the default location for um, an image inside of the header and we actually also have a traditional GUI option um, that we can use in the main area if we want to as well. So if we actually jump into the config or example config, so in your new package that you've downloaded, there's a couple of new things. Uh, there's this images folder. Uh, in here are the actual image files that your GUI is going to actually use. Um, so you store everything in there. And there's also this new config underscore images.xml, which is this file here. And if we have a look, quick look at the config, um, there's our left pane and our right pane areas. We've got a new image area inside of the heading, and we have a GUI option of type image. So that's our new GUI option type that we're going to be using. And configuring these is all basically the same across all uh, three options. So if we just close that out for now. So let's go from top to bottom. Uh, well, first of all, we've got the new image um, area inside of the heading or the header area. And it's really um, quite straightforward. We've got the file, which is just the file name, inside of this images folder. So there's our TS GUI text logo 1.png. We've got a width and or a height. And then we've got the stretch mode. Now to understand what the stretch mode options are, there's this web link here which links to a Microsoft article that runs you through the four different options and what they will do. Um, the default is uniform to fill, which basically will fill up the area that that image exists within while maintaining these, um, the aspect ratio of the image. Uh, if you set both a width and a height here, and you set it to f uh, set the stretch mode to fill, it will squish the image in to fit those dimensions, whether or not it maintains the aspect ratio of the image. Um, and then you've got none, which will just basically put the image in um, as is and won't try and resize it in any way. So if it's not sized properly for the GUI, it's going to look a bit wrong. Uh, so yeah, the default is uniform to fill. Um, usually it's the uniform, uniform, uniform to fill, I would think, will be the most common options. Um, but have a play with the four, one of the four options and the width of the height to get the look that you desire. Um, and that in the header, that will put an image in the top right hand corner. Um, if you want to uh, change the header and you don't really like the default layout and you want to move somewhere else, um, I'll be creating a second video or another video um, that covers customizing the header, which you have a lot more options um, for inside of 0.9.7.1 and above. Uh, then we come down to our left pane and our right pane areas and again this image block here is exactly the same as the one above. We have our file width height and stretch. Uh, the only thing extra is this width uh, field um, or element which is just the width of that particular pane on the screen. Um, if you don't configure this block at all, so if this is just um, commented out or doesn't exist, that width will get set to zero and it won't exist inside your GUI. So don't worry about any um, large padding area or anything like that. If you don't want it, just remove the entire block. And that's the panes. And then if we come down to our GUI option, um, again, it's exactly the same file width, height, and stretch. Uh, just set the type to image. Uh, the main thing to be aware of with our GUI option is to do with the widths. So the best way to illustrate this, if I actually take this GUI option, and I've already um, pasted it into a blank config here with a computer name option. And if I actually run this up,
Now you can see here we've got the left cell width and the right cell width, and that's configuring the label area and the control area in a traditional GUI option. With the image, what it's actually going to do is it's going to put those two uh, widths together and assign that to the right cell width and then set the left cell width to zero. So basically what you're going to end up is with is rather than having two distinct areas, you're going to have one big area in which to put your image. And then you can configure it from there. So just be aware of that with the um, when you're setting your um, your widths at the layer above in the column is with the image it is going to make one big area rather than having two distinct areas. Um, other than that it's um, pretty straightforward as you can see it's exactly the same as the bits of config above. Now the last thing to be aware of is in the image folder you can see here you've got image one image one underscore 100 image under one underscore 200 um, and you're probably wondering what that is so what I've got here is a demo config And the main reason I wanted to run this particular one up is um, just because I've already got the live data um, screen up. So what you can see in the live data window now is there's this new current display scaling um, value here. And what that is is, is obviously just the display um, value percentage um, that's being configured or that's set um, for scaling. Now what can happen with those scaling settings is that Sometimes the images get resized um, to, to match that and they don't look quite right. Um, sometimes they get um, expanded, sometimes they get squished down and it just doesn't work right. So what this is is an attempt to help fix some of those issues. So with any image that you put on, if you then have create a second image uh, with underscore 100, and another image underscore 200 basically those underscore and then the number matches up with that scaling setting so if you have an image called image underscore so image one underscore 200 when you configure image one inside of the config if that image exists and your scaling um, matches your scaling setting matches it's going to load that image rather than these other ones so if your current display scaling was at 100 it would load that image um, etc and if it can't find anything else basically it'll um, try and find the best image it can now generally speaking if you've got an image that is the highest res that you'll ever kind of need um, normally it will squish down fairly well and it'll look okay. Expanding not so much, but squishing down is usually pretty good. But if you do have any issues with that, um, then you can use this option. Just create a different uh, image that is um, a higher or lower resolution as needed, and then use this naming standard to match your scaling setting, and it will automatically pick those images up and pick the appropriate one um, for your current display scaling setting. Um, and that's about it really for images. Um, if you've got any questions, issues, um, please let me know um, and just get in contact via the 20road.com website. Thanks very much.